bro. Like, what? People are like, oh my god, twenty eight dollars for cookies. It's four bags. That's seven seven dollars a bag. I know, I know, math is hard when you're an idiot, but. Uh, like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. That was just crazy. Now, for those that are not aware of what's going on in the gaming slash streaming community, uh, Pokimane, as you saw over there, is uh, going back at it again, mainly defending her uh, stand on the cookies that she just launched are called Mina. And um, the whole community is going after her mainly due to how expensive they are. Uh, the clip that I just showed you was her response to those that are coming after her. Um, after that, she came out with an apology on Twitter. Uh, you can go find it if you want to know about it, but it's mainly she's saying, oh, I meant that as a joke. Um, me personally, I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm not here to talk about that drama. I'm here to talk about the nutritional facts, nutritional aspects of it. If you're looking for drama, you're in the wrong channel. Now, uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is a, as a former fat person and a person that enjoys fitness now is two main things. Uh, are these really healthy for weight loss? Which in my opinion is her whole approach, her whole marketing idea. That's mainly what she's been saying in a, a few interviews or mainly uh, on her streams. She's talking about, I have these cookies because I do enjoy uh, having some something uh, yummy, but also at the same time nutritious and delicious, whatever that meant for her. And the second one is, are they worth their price? So let's get right into it. So right now I'm going to show you on side, we have the nutrition facts for Mina cookies, which is uh, her cookies, and some random cookie brand that you've never seen before and you probably uh, haven't tried before, but one is mainly more nutritious than the other. That's what she's claiming. Now, 140 calories, whereas the other unknown brand has 130 calories right there. We have an issue because uh, as you might know, colors in, colors out, that's what determines weight loss. And uh, total amount of fat, we had nine grams of fat for the Mina cookies and this random cookie brand, five grams. So <laughs> right off the back, we're having issues with this. Um, these are high in fat content, which uh, again, I'd rather have my fats from nutritious foods like, you know, almonds and stuff. Uh, if I'm trying to be in a healthy situation, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. As far as carbohydrates, we got 14 grams, right? 14 grams on her side and 20 grams on the other side. There you go, now she's winning there. And for protein, um, here's the thing guys, protein, right? Uh, l l let's be honest. Uh, this is not, you know, a, these are definitely not for uh, muscle building purposes. So I'm not going to too harsh, but as you can see here, at two grams on with hair protein, uh, with hair cookies, and you can get one gram with this random cookie that I picked out of nowhere again. Now, are they worth their price? To answer this, I'm gonna take you back to the general equation where minus B plus minus four B squared. Now, I'm just messing with you guys. The answer is it depends. If you'd like to support her after she called you broke boy, go ahead, you know, that, do, you do you. I, I personally, I don't see it that way. Uh, I must rather eat ice cream out to Ben and Jerry's. Make sure that I'm still in my color deficit. So yeah, that is color seen versus colors out, guys. Remember, it's not the foods you eat; it's the foods um, that you eat throughout the day, minus the amount of energy you spend throughout the day. For now, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Like if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay.